my name is Brennan Brennan and I'm back again with another base building rust and today I have a nice little small clan base for you guys. There is so much storage in this fucker, it's quite good and there's over 40 large wooden boxes and if your item placement is better than mine you can probably get that up to about 50 easy. Uh, so first things first, the build cost is 45k stone, 12k metal with an upkeep of 10k stone, 3k metal. Now as I said there's a lot of box storage in here theoretically i think you could comfortably fit four or five players in here anymore it'd be a bit of a squeeze but you could do it there's enough storage space and we have a shooty floor we have trade access and we have a dummy roof on top there isn't roof access on this but we want people to hit that little stone bit and waste explosive so now that's said and explained let's just drop straight down the front door so we go in and we are met straight up by the double door trick which means no one can go deep on you until this door is closed so that's just a little added defense before you go out so we'll open that back up and then this leads us on to our ring around of roses so basically if a raider gets through here they have two choices they've got to commit to all these doors or they've got to take sheet metal two layers of it so let's go around a ring around of roses this leads us to the other front of our base, which is a little trade area with a couple of boxes here. If trading is your thing, this is the place for it. And then we creep back round into our ring around of roses. And then this leads us into our atrium area. Now all this is segmented by garage doors, but I've left them open because it would just be aids for the video. Uh, the TC is still on the unlootable trick because it still kind of works for a TC. Whereas everything else, I've totally just got rid of the unlootables. I think our best bet now is to refer back to what we did before and just have a garage door with your boxes set up like this. Like this is your ground floor, this is your working area. So this is where you're bringing stuff in, you're crafting all your stuff on your workbenches over here, smelting on these furnaces. So that's what this floor is designed for. Now if we run back around here, we'll find the ladder hatch. The reason it is so close to your front door is because the front is the strongest part of your base with all this sheet metal so it's less likely for someone to blow through this section or this section here so now we open this up and we go up to our first floor which is like your loot room basically as you can see we've got four of these set up old styly which gives you the chance to get an extra box and a small box in and as you can see there's just so many bag areas and then if we run around the front we've got a little uh, furnace area with a bit more extra room so like I said might be a bit cramped but you've got all this spare room so make use of it so now you'll find your ladder hatch here which leads us up to our shooty floor which is our final floor uh, we've got three lockers next three respawn points so die grab a gun get back out there and then we've got the same on the front with four boxes and you've got nice lines of sight all the way around your base so nobody's creeping up on you you can defend from all angles and if we go back to the center i'm going to have to no clip this go up you will find a half floor and another half floor and basically what that is is if you're going to get roof raided they're not going to go for this metal i mean that's just stupid when you've got stone there they're going to blow through this stone possibly through the top just to make the rockets effective they can get like uh you could get four five maybe splash them five there but then again that brings you down to that so you've instantly wasted some rockets from there so now that's all said and explained let's get right into the base build okay so first start by placing a center triangle foundation and then you want to place three triangles off your center foundation like so then on each side add two squares one two three four five six and then in between these two squares we're going to add two triangles so same again six triangles one two three four five six then on the outside of your squares add three triangles so one two three and again and again next decide which side you want to be your front i'm going to have this side because it's pointing towards where i want to be going out so i'm going to add four more triangles like so and then on either side of this ring around a rosy i'm going to add a square next come down to the center foundation that we started placing upgrade this to stone and then we're going to add two walls upgrade these to metal for a bit of extra security then place your tc in there like so 
get it in nice and snug authorize on it jobs are good next upgrade all your other foundations to stone okay so next we're going to add doorways at your front we're going to add a standard door then here we're going to add a wall frame and the reason for this is we're going to add a double sheet metal door here that will open outwards to block your front door stops people going deep and it's a bit more of a defense and then we're going to add standard doorways around like so all the way to here and then a final doorway there upgrade all of these to stone And then just here by your front door, add a wall and then add another wall here and upgrade these two to metal. Add two walls around the front of your doors and upgrade these two to metal as well. This side you can add a shop from if you want to do a bit of trading but if not just seal it up with a wall. And then add a wall here and another one there like so. And then add a doorway leading from your inner honeycomb to this side. Upgrade your doorway and door frame to stone and upgrade the two walls to metal. Add a wall on the opposite side to make it symmetrical and upgrade this to metal. Add a final wall on the inside of your doors and upgrade this one to metal. Next add walls around the outside. Upgrade these to stone. Add two walls on your triangles. One, two. And then add a wall in between these two triangles. This wall serves no purpose. It's a bit of a dummy wall, but we're going to stick it in anyway. And then upgrade all of these to stone. Add walls along the inside of your triangles. And then upgrade these to metal. Next add door frames like so. Add one on each triangle so on two sides. So that's six door frames on your triangles. And then we're going to add one in between the two squares, like so. And then upgrade these nine wall frames to stone. Next, add a wall frame anywhere if you're choosing. It really doesn't matter. The only place I really wouldn't have it is... I'm probably going to go straight here at the front, as this is one of the strongest points you base, as the two layers of metal and three if they come the wrong way. So I'm going to put it there right near my front door. Upgrade this to stone and then we're going to add floor tiles. Upgrade these to metal. Next add walls around the outside of your first floor. Upgrade all of these to stone. Add two walls on your honeycomb triangles on all three sides. So one, two, three. Here's your third side. And then add your dummy wall in the middle of these two. And then we want a dummy wall around at the front here. And then upgrade all of these walls to stone. Add two walls at the front and upgrade these to metal. And then add two around the square on the side like so. One, two. And do the same on the opposite side. Upgrade these to metal. Add walls along and around your triangles like so. Upgrade to metal. Add two walls around your ladder hatch like so. Upgrade these to stone. 
and then add a door frame here and upgrade this to stone as well. Then at your front you are going to add door frames on every triangle and what this will become is like a little furnace area and we will upgrade these to stone. Okay, so now that the unlootable loot rooms have been nerfed, I'm kind of leaning towards just going back to what we used to do, like just a straight up garage door. The reason for this is with the unlootables, the raider knew that you had loot there, they could see there's a window and they know they're going for it. Whereas with a garage door, they don't know what's behind it. So the way we're going to play this is we're going to have stick a door frame here and then we're going to add a wall in between these two. And then we'll upgrade this one to metal to avoid picking and then we're going to add two more door frames and what we'll do is we're going to randomly have like a loot room a research area respawn point so they don't know it's going to be potlucked from so upgrade them to stone and then this one we're going to add a wall here like so this way facing and upgrade this to metal as well then we're going to add two more door frames this is going to be a lead around to your front furnace area and respawn point and a couple of these are going to be loot rooms we'll probably stagger them out to avoid splash damage okay so in the center we're going to add three wall frames just to make this aids to raid and we will upgrade them to stone lag and then here where your door frame leads into your front bit we are going to add a ladder hatch and upgrade it to stone and then we are going to add floor tiles upgrade your floor tiles to metal okay so now for the third floor this is going to be a shooty floor we're going to have two windows here at the front then we're going to have two more on the side triangles Then we're going to have two more next one. And then we're going to have three round the rear. The sides, the corners, add two walls. And then upgrade all of this to stone. Add door frames on your triangles. We're going to add garage doors in here for ease of access so you can open them all up. And then upgrade all of them to stone. Add two more door frames on your squares and then one on the triangle. And what these are going to become is they're going to be like respawn points, locker areas. So if you die whilst fighting out the window, you can respawn here, grab your stuff, and just get back out there. Next, add two walls around your ladder hatch. And then add a door frame this side so you've got two exits from your lad hatch and upgrade all of these to stone. Add a full doorway here, upgrade this to stone, and then add a door frame on these two squares. Upgrade both of these to stone. Next, add a wall by your two doorways, and then add a wall on the same side here. And then add a final wall here on the three sides of your triangle. Upgrade these three to stone. Two more door frames. Upgrade to stone. Then add three more door frames in the center to make it aids to raid. Upgrade these to stone. Okay, so now on all your outer triangles, add floor tiles so we're going to leave the center squares well the outer squares and the center triangle untouched then add floor tiles on your front two squares and then we're going to add two more triangles on this bit here 
Then all these you've just placed, let's zoom up so you can see better. That is the structure in the center where you don't want floor tiles. We add it all to the outside. So now upgrade all of these to metal. Now on the inside add floor tiles, but we're only going to upgrade these to stone. Next add walls around this stone floor structure that we created. And upgrade all of these to stone. Next, add three half walls in the center, and then add a triangle off of each one. And then we're going to add two walls in your squares, well three walls should I say sorry, and upgrade these three full walls to stone. Then add two full squares off these triangles, one two, one two, one two. Then upgrade these to stone. Delete your three half walls. And then upgrade your three triangles to stone. And then add a final triangle on top. Next add floor tiles on top of this structure. And what this is intended to do is this to this is to invite the roof raiders up here. It's like, oh, come splash your rockets into this stone. And they will fall for it, trust me. So upgrade all of these to stone. And voila, we are done.